this piece literally just finished today. I was in shock. Do you know this is the second largest Calaconda oval diamond to ever be made in a Cap Florence piece? You were looking at a two carat up ancient historical from the 1700s Calaconda in Calaconda diamond from ancient Hyderabad in India. This is the first locale where di diamonds were discovered. We're talking about where the cool Nur diamond is from in the British crown jewels, the Orlov diamond from the Russian Federation, the Dresden diamond, which is a green diamond, the blue diamond, which is the hope diamond. These important diamonds come from this particular locale. This particular stone comes with its own certificate from the GIA stating type 2A, which is specific to the Kalakonda region. It is amazing. The rarity of this is undeniable. Look, you can find occasionally Calaconda diamonds, but you never find D flawless Calaconda. And I'll tell you why. The only way to get these is to buy a bigger diamond and cut it down to a smaller one. This particular stone weighed 4.79 carats. Can you imagine cutting a 4.79 carat VS1 diamond that was historical from the 1700s and cutting it down to the perfect D flawless? Why? Because Cap will only sell D flawless. This stone is over two carats. She hit the jackpot to have a Calaconda diamond that's this big. The only one we've ever seen in the Cap Florence collection above this size, Calaconda, was a three carat. It sold in the last show. This one will sell immediately as well. It is a two carat. It has almost three carats of D flawless large diamonds surrounding that important Calaconda diamond with the total weight of this almost five Five carats of D flawless in this ring. You wear this on your hand, it pops. And the optical dispersion from Kulakonda Diamond is superior due to the lack of nitrogen in type 2A diamonds, making it a real extreme collectible. This piece is amazing. It's rare. It's unique. And I cannot get any more. These stones are impossible to find. I got a small collection when I was hunting down. But I have never in my career ever found D flawless Calaconda because the only way to get a D flawless Calaconda diamond is to buy something, recut it, lose tremendous amount of weight to make it perfect. Congratulations to Cat Florence. She's crazy, but she's done it again.